it's time now to highlight and introduce you to a member of our community who has demonstrated what being a true advocate is all about. Christopher from the Advocates is here with this month's nominee, Charlie. Welcome to both of you. Hello. Thank you. Now, Chris, let's start with you. Why is it so important to highlight someone in our community? Well, you know, Charlie especially. I mean, Charlie's one, um, you know, of the most jovial men that I've had a pleasure to meet, you know, and through the crucible of experience, you know, he's learned the the heartache and the turmoil that's that's involved with addiction and addiction recovery and he's dedicated you know over 30 years of his life now to helping people in our community um, recover from addiction um, and now he's on the board of directors of the first care um, first, first step first step mm -hmm. um, house here in Salt Lake that helps people and places them in homes with beds so that they can have a place to live, but also have a place to be able to recover as well. Chris, I love that you and the advocates come on the show every single month and introduce us to a member of the community that we may not know their story, but their story needs to be told. He walked in and said, this is a good guy. <laughs> yeah. This is a good guy. Charlie, tell us a little bit about your story. Um, I'm a man in uh, long-term recovery from addiction. <clears throat> in 34 years, uh, I got on this pattern of trying to help others, and it's become who I am. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I've been so blessed. I, I had this opportunity to become a drug counselor, and then I was able to work at the VA hospital for the last 20 years, and uh, touched a lot of lives. <clears throat> and now I'm a, a member on the board of directors of First Step House, and that's the uh, <clears throat> treatment I complete, <laughs> completed I'm class in class of 1989. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Um, and first step is healing our community. Uh, they've created a, a treatment after treatment after treatment. There's uh, some like 200 beds. And they're, they're busy. Uh, they've uh, developed uh, the lowest income housing of them all. And then next to it, they built one that's uh, the next higher up low income housing. And they're working on uh, all kinds of, they're, they're working like with the REACH. REACH is uh, the diversion from going to jail. Rather go to jail, let's come to treatment. And they're uh, doing uh, recovery support housing and they're doing case management and they're, they're healing all these different aspects of our community. Charlie, I can see you getting emotional about this and, and helping so many people. How has this helped you in your own recovery? Oh boy, it's all gift. <laughs> uh, end of my parade, I was dying late stages of alcoholism, age 35. Wow. And I just turned 70. <laughs> uh, and so there was an intervention on my part not because of me, but in spite of me. And uh, what an opportunity to help the Creator's kids. That's my job, I work for the Creator, I think. Uh, Charlie, have you seen miracles happen? Oh, beyond, beyond, beyond. Uh, I just had a call from one of them, my daughter. Uh, she's in recovery right along with her dad. And so we're, we're healing some generations, yeah. her and I. You know, a recovery is generational, just like the disease. Like your daughter, and if someone is watching right now thinking, I want to recover, I want to try, I want to get there, what would you say to them? Oh, it's doable, absolute doable. Uh, there's a number of things you have to do, and, and uh, you, you have to break through this barricade of self-centeredness, selfish self-centeredness and you have to become an advocate to help others. And helping others is what saves, it, saves your soul. Chris, then, I can see why you <laughs> made this choice. You uh, are right. You know, Charlie's in the business of helping people rise to their potential. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of people out there, you know, have issues that they're dealing with when it comes to substance abuse. And, and Charlie's in the business of helping them overcome that. <laughs> 
and being their best that they can be, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why we love people like Charlie and, and want to recognize him a little bit here. And keeping it's it real <laughs> yeah. at the same time, <laughs> yeah. right? If you'd like to make a donation to what the work that Charlie is doing, you can go to that info on your screen or on our website. Online is firststephouse.org. If you need an advocate, utahadvocates.com. And if you'd like to nominate someone in our community who is doing incredible things, please head to our website, abc4.com slash GTU. Our thanks to the advocates for this sponsored interview. Thank you. And thank you to Charlie thank for you. all you do for our community. <laughs> We're back after this.